Hi, and welcome to Allen High School. We are talking chemistry here, in fact, the stoichiometry unit in chemistry at the pre-AP chemistry level. We're going to jump right into a question here. We just finished up with mass to mass. I want to show you that you can actually use Avogadro's number. Honestly, it's not likely to be the most applicable in terms of industry. Uh, but I, I still think it's a valuable contribution to the conversation. So in this case, we have hydrogen gas plus nitrogen gas yields NH3. Now we do have to balance it. I'll need a 2 here and a 3 there. Now write your given underneath your substance. So that's 0.334 grams of nitrogen gas. And the question says, how many molecules? Well, everything we're dealing with relates on a mole to mole level. So we first want to go mass to moles, and then we're going to go moles to moles, and then we can go moles to molecules. So mass to moles use molar mass. Moles to moles use the magic mole ratio. Moles to molecules, molecules are a count. And you can do this if you remember that when you're counting particles, you use Avogadro's number. Now, let's set up our dimensional analysis here. We've got three steps. Start with our given, 0 0.334 grams. Did I mention before that it's a really, really good idea to label these? Okay, so I'm in the driveway and I want to get out onto the mole road in front of nitrogen's house. One mole of nitrogen is 28.02 grams. Don't forget your diatomics. Come up with your little way to label it. Now I want to go moles to moles. If you get your units set up properly, this should be straightforward. I'm driving away from N2, I want those to cancel, and towards H2. There's a 3 in front of the H2, there's an implied 1 in front of the N2. Or you can remember it's always 2 over from. Okay. Now I have just one more step that we're adding. It's really nothing new. You've seen this before. I want to get to molecules from moles. For every one mole, I've got 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Moles of hydrogen, label, 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 cancel. And when all is said and done, I have um, 2.15 times 10 to the 22nd molecules of hydrogen gas. Final answer. You didn't even need to phone a friend for that one. Okay, let's try the next one. See what we're doing. Mass to moles, moles to moles, moles to molecules. We can get anywhere we want to as long as we're riding on the magic mole ratio. All right, this time I have sulfuric acid plus sodium hydroxide. This is that wife swap or double replacement that we talked about. So sodium will go with sulfate and no, once you've taken a test on it, you can't forget it in chemistry. All right, now I want to balance that, so I need a 2 in front of the water and a 2 in front of the NaOH. Now I have 120 grams of the NaOH, so I'm going to put that right under the NaOH in my framework. And I want moles of water. So let's map it out. We have... I can't do mass to moles. You have to relate based on the heart of chemistry. So I've got mass to moles, but then I can go moles to moles directly. So there's like a little bit of a cut through there. So I've got 120 grams. I want to go from mass to moles, and it's of NaOH. Multiply, I'm going to do it the other way for those of you who prefer this, grams of NaOH. You know, this may seem a little silly for you, but it's a really good idea to label these as you go. Okay, one 
mole is it's actually 40 even in terms of grams now I want to go moles to moles so I started to cut myself off there thinking I was going to run out of room and I've actually got plenty plenty of room there because it's a single step it's just moles to moles I want to eliminate moles of NaOH I want moles of water that's what it asked me about there's a two Wow, these all seem to be one-to-one. -one. I need to work on some of these for you. <laughs> two to two. Show it anyway. And your answer should be three moles of, really 3.00 moles of water would form. Okay? So don't forget your units. Don't forget your sig figs. Now, in this next segment here, I'm going to introduce a new conversion factor. Oh, and we have a buddy visiting us. Remember, Amol, hi Amol, it's good to see you in my video, is the heart of chemistry. Now, we've done moles to mass, use molar mass. We've seen going from moles to particles. Now we're going to add a special case. And three things have to be true. First off, I have to have a gas doesn't work for solids or liquids, only a gas. And it has to be at something called standard. That means it's an agreed upon temperature and pressure. Now we'll use this in more detail later on. Standard temperature is zero, not percent, but zero degrees Celsius. And standard pressure is one atmosphere of pressure. We're not going to do any calculations with that. We're just going to use this one conversion factor. I liked this little picture here because it gave you an idea of what it looks like, what a molar volume, a mole of any gas. So that's why we call it the molar volume. And it's 22.4 liters per mole of any gas. Or if you write it this way, hopefully you see we have, yes, you guessed it, a conversion factor. So do we have applause, applause, yay, that's my applause. All right, let's go on. Now, let's take a look at this one. How many liters of hydrogen at STP could theoretically be produced um, when I react sodium? And man, I really should have left us a lot more room on these, but we'll be okay. I'll have to use what I have. So I have, um, hydrogen gas is going to be produced when I take water and react it with sodium. And I'll make hydrogen gas. Now, let me rewrite water for you. I'm fine with this. When you see water in a reaction, I think it's helpful to write it as HOH. So then you realize that you make NaOH, not sodium oxide. So let's see if this is balanced. I've got, um, I'll need a two in front of the sodium and a two in front of there and a two in front of there. Now, now we're balanced. All right, so I have 3.400 grams of my sodium. You will learn to love those words excess because it means that it's an easier problem. And the question asks me how many liters at STP. It's a gas and I'm at STP. So let's go ahead and map it out. I've got to go moles, mass to moles. Then I'm going to go moles to moles. We've done that many times. And then I'm going to add our new conversion factor. Okay. So I'm going to do this down along the bottom here where I have a little bit more room. There's my line set up my conversion grid and we're off and running 3.400 grams of label it label it label it and I want to go mass to moles and then moles to moles so I want to get rid of grams I want to go to moles mass to moles use molar mass you guys are gonna get so sick of that phrase Right. Now I want to go moles to moles. I want to eliminate moles of sodium. I want to go to moles of hydrogen. 
there's a one in front of the hydrogen and a two in front of the sodium. Remember, it's two over from. Now, this is where I have my new conversion factor. Hydrogen's a gas and it's at STP. So I can eliminate moles of hydrogen and go to liters of hydrogen by using the molar volume, that there's 22.4 liters of hydrogen in every one mole of hydrogen. So if I crank through that, my first answer here is 1.656 liters of hydrogen gas. And that would be our new conversion factor. Um, I think I have time for one more problem on here. So let me just get myself some workspace. There we go. I'll write my balanced equation. I have ethane. Remember, meth eats people's brains. The E means two carbons. Ane means double them plus two. I'm adding oxygen gas. You should know that a combustion is complete for us at this level. And that's H2O. Now, I want to balance it. And so to balance this one, I would have, I need a two here. And I've got three hydrogen, six hydrogen, so I need a three here. Whoa, that gives me seven oxygens. So do you remember when we had that even odd problem? You double all your other coefficients. Okay, so instead of a three, I want a six. Instead of a two, I want a four. And instead of a one, I want a two there. So that gives me four and four for carbons, 12. Now I've got eight plus six is 14. I want a seven on my oxygens there. So let's go ahead and crank through this. Uh, I have, let's see, we've got 7.98 liters of ethane and it's at STP. And I wanna know how many liters of oxygen. So I've gotta go liters to moles moles to moles, moles to liters. Now you're gonna see something very interesting here in just a minute. So I have 7.98 liters of my C2H6. I want to go get rid of liters and go to moles. Now, because it's a gas and because it's at STP, it's 22.4 liters. And I'm still talking ethane here. Now, I want to, now I'm here on my map, I want to go moles to moles. So I want to get rid of moles of ethane, C2H6, and I want to go to moles of oxygen. There's a seven in front of the oxygen and a two in front of the C2H6. Two over from. Now watch what happens here. I want to eliminate moles of oxygen and I want liters of oxygen. And since it's a gas and it's at STP, I can use molar volume. Now, some of you may see that when you're going to volume to volume of a gas at STP, the only thing you have to do, I was hoping for a little heart here, but I'm not seeing a heart. The only thing you have to do is go use your magic mole ratio, all right? So uh, I don't happen to have that number, so it's 7.98 times seven divided by two, and I'm getting 27 point, let's see, the three sig figs, 27.9 liters of O2. So I have that answer. So 7.98 times seven divided by two, double checked it. Always double check my algebra. Okay, we've introduced that conversion factor. And then we're going to go on and see what do we do if we have a liquid and its volume. So until that time, this is signing off.